Hey guys, Christy here from DPC Technology. Today we're gonna to talk about how to send an encrypted email, what it looks like when you send it, what it looks like to the person receiving the email, so we can get a little bit more comfortable with sending encrypted email on a daily basis. If you're new here, DPC Technology is a managed service provider providing IT managed services to small businesses all over the Southeast of the United States. On our channel, we like to do videos about product reviews, how to use technology in your business, and videos like this. So if you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and smash the like and subscribe button below. Get that out of the way and let's get right into the video. So you may be thinking, why do I need to use encrypted email and when do I need to send an encrypted email? And the answer is whenever you're sending private information, payment information, and especially patient health information like social securities, birthdays, x-rays, you wanna make sure that you're using encrypted email whenever sending that over to someone else. The way that we're using it today and the way I'm gonna show you is using Microsoft Outlook with an Azure subscription. It's gonna be specific to that. You can't just send an encrypted email without the subscription. You're gonna to have to have a subscription to have all these options that you're gonna see in my email. If you don't have a subscription, when you click on these buttons, you just won't see the options. So if you need help getting set up, you can always reach out to us, especially if you're a complete care client. We probably already have you set up with at least one account that you can send encrypted emails with. Okay guys, with that being said, let's head on over to my computer and I'll show you how to send some encrypted emails. All right, we're gonna show how to send an encrypted email out of Outlook. And in this case, I'm gonna send it to uh, my Gmail account, but it would look the same if you were sending to Yahoo or any other kind of non-Microsoft Outlook account. So here we go, I'm gonna hit new email and we're gonna send this to my Gmail account. I'm gonna just say test. And in this case, I'm just gonna hit, so I go to options and encrypt, and you have four different options here. Um, I'm gonna start with encrypt only. That's really all you necessarily need if you uh, wanna be HIPAA compliant, is to say encrypt only. But there are other options like do not forward. There's the option that we have some rules internally that we've set up that's a confidential internal email only and a confidential internal email view only. So if we're sending emails within our organization, they are um, kept confidential. But if I'm just sending something that I want encrypted, um, I'll click that encrypt only. This message is encrypted, recipients can't remove encryption. And so then I click send here, and we're gonna go over to our Gmail account and see how it looks on the other end. The idea is in Microsoft, you're using a portal that you have to kind of log into that portal on the other end so you can see the email. Um, so it's not necessarily transmitted like a normal email. It's kept on that portal and therefore it, it's got less chance of being stolen or hacked or anything like that. So that's the point of using an encrypted email. And that's why we like to use Microsoft Office 365, but specifically in Outlook, is, it's the easiest way. So here's the email, I'm gonna click in here and you'll see it says, uh, Christy has sent you a protected message. I'm gonna click here to read the message. And this is where it's gonna say, um, I've sent you a protected message, please sign in to view the message. So you can either sign into your Google account, again, I know you're already signed in, but this signs you into the portal part, or you can sign in with a one-time passcode. This time I'm just gonna sign back into my Google account. And there it is. In this scenario, I can copy it, I could forward it, but the email is encrypted. It's on this portal for me to see. You can see up here, it's not inside my Gmail anymore. It's on, I'm logged into that portal to see that email. So let me close out of it and let's say, I'll try it again. Now that I'm in it, I think it will just open again. Yeah, so this time after, after I've gotten in, it will just open again normally. So let's close out of it. Let's delete, let's send another one. And this time I'm gonna send, send it using do not forward. And then on this end, we'll see what it looks like. Another good way, sometimes people are concerned, how do I know it went encrypted? You know, they wanna know what it looks like on the other end. Send yourself a test email um, or send one to your personal account and just see what it looks like and make sure it's working. But if you see those options in your Outlook, it should be working. Um, here you go, this is how it looks, same, same again. But when I open it, you'll see I can't copy it, I can't highlight it. If I go to forward it, it's grayed out. If I go to print it, it's grayed out. So it says do not forward, recipients can't forward, print, or copy content. All right, so now I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like to do the same thing, but instead of from your Outlook on your workstation, it's gonna be from the Outlook app that's on the web. So let's say you're out and about and you're on your laptop 
on vacation or something and you need to send an encrypted email. So you can log into your Outlook, go into um, portal.office.com and log in that way, go into your Outlook and go to do a new message. And same thing I did before, but we're gonna pull up my Gmail account. I'm gonna do a test, test. And see, so you see up the top here is a button that says encrypt. So it's kind of obvious. If you've never looked up there though, you probably never saw it. So there it is. You're gonna click on encrypt and you'll see it now it says encrypt. This message is encrypted. Recipients can't remove encryption, change permission or remove encryption. If we click change permission, now you see we have a drop down with the same choices we had in Outlook on our computer, the desktop version. So I can click dental PC confidential, view only, do not forward or encrypt. So I'm just gonna click encrypt again and we'll click send and it's sending and then I'm gonna go back over into my Gmail account. So here we go, same message. We're gonna click read the message. Since I'm already logged in, it's not gonna ask me to log in, but you can see here it is, encrypt, this message is encrypted. So same thing. Let me also show you what it does if you wanna send within your organization. And I click encrypt. And then I wanna change it to go confidential. So DP, Dental PC confidential, this content is proprietary information intended for internal users only. This content can be modified, but cannot be copied and printed. So we're gonna go ahead and send that to my Gmail account, which in theory, we don't want this to work because I'm outside of the organization. Here it is. When I click read the message, now I'm logged in and it says an error has occurred. We're sorry, an unknown error has occurred. Please try again later. And that's because I'm outside of the organization. It's not gonna come through. It's just gonna give me an error. That's how you make sure that you're not sending something accidentally outside of your organization. Um, now I'm gonna tell you how to see if the email you sent was actually encrypted. Um, if you go in your sent email box, you'll see the little lock next to it and that will mean that it was encrypted. Same thing if you're in your Outlook uh, online app, web app, you'll see the little lock and you'll also see at the top, it says this message is encrypted and recipients can't forward it. So that's a good way to just double check. Also, sometimes it's good to just send one to yourself first and make sure it came over that way and then send it again to whoever you're sending it to. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe below. And if you have any questions, add them to the comments. Hope you have a great day and uh, we'll see you in the next video.